Hello guys and welcome to the Gonto series. This tutorial is in continuation to the earlier two parts for creation of a basic Hibernate Java application. In the first part, we created the hibernate.cfg.xml file and went through all the configurations needed for a basic Hibernate Java application. And in the second part, we created the annotated model class student underscore info which we want to store or persist into the database using the Hibernate way. In this tutorial, we are going to write code for storing or persisting the student underscore info object into the database table. Once you are through with the understanding how to save, you would understand rest good operations like delete, update, load in no time. So let's start. Go to the package com.contoseries.hibernate, right click and choose new class. Give a name to the class main. Click on finish. What we want is to store the student underscore info model object into the database. So let's quickly create this model object in this main class. Set name as gone to and set troll number as one. Now our model object student underscore info is ready. Now let's write code to save it into the student underscore information table. Just to save some time, I've already written the rest of the code for saving the student underscore info object. Now let's understand what all these lines of code means. The first step is to create the session factory object. This object will contain all the data regarding the Hibernate configuration file. So we can call session factory as a heavyweight object. The second step is to create the session object. Session factory produces the session object. You can get a session or open a session by calling open session method in session factory. And what conceptually it means is whenever session is opened, then internally a database connection will be opened. The third step is to create a logical transaction. While working with insert, update, delete operations, from a Hibernate application on the database, Hibernate would need a logical transaction. If we are just selecting an object from the database, then we do not require any logical transaction. But for all other crude operations like delete, insert, update, Hibernate would need it. In order to begin a logical transaction, we need to call a method begin transaction given by the session interface like this. This session.save is the main code which is inserting the record into the database table. You just need to pass the model object student underscore info to the same method in session and it will save the record into the database table student underscore information. Finally, we need to call commit in transaction and then just close the session object and session factory like this. If we run the program, our intention is that it will save the student underscore info object into the student underscore information table. As we have clearly mentioned in the student underscore info class that whenever we would perform any operation with the student underscore info class, consider the student underscore information table. If we go and check the Hibernate Tutorials database schema, we won't find here any tables so far. This is the newly created schema by me for Hibernate Tutorials. So where the Hibernate program would save the student underscore info object into the database. You remember, we learned while going to the Hibernate configuration file, hibernate.cfg.xml, if hpm2ddl.auto property is set to create, then Hibernate 
would create the new table with the table name mentioned in the model class if it doesn't find already existing table in the schema. Let's execute the program. As soon as Java application. The program is executed. Now let's check whether it has created the new table student underscore information with the record map to the student underscore info object. If you check the logs on the console, Hibernate is very well saying that it has created the student underscore information table in the database. And it has inserted a record into this table. So let's check in the database whether it has done so. Yes, it has created the student underscore information in the Hibernate tutorial schema. Let's check whether it has inserted the record or not. Yes, it has created a record gone to as name and roll number as one, which was the values given to the student underscore info model object. We are done with creating the basic Hibernate Java application. One very important thing to note over here is what value this hpm 2 ddlauto property should have. It can hold four values, create, update, create drop and validate. So we have used here create, but it can hold one of any of these four values. So what value it should have in production environment or in development environment. I would dedicate a separate tutorial on this property and will explain all these values fully in the upcoming tutorials. You can download the complete Hibernate demo from my website using this link. With this, you can easily go through or understand other database operation like delete, reading or updating the record apart from save which I just demonstrated. Mm -hmm.